All right. Ready or Not Week continues now with tips on how to mend your fashion emergencies. Joining us with Sewing Kit Essentials at home and on the go. Welcome back, Amy Goodman. Hey. Amy, this is pretty perfect, I got to tell you. This, this is, is... Kelly knows her way around this. This yeah. is a golden egg of a sewing mm -hmm. basket, which my grandmother had and my mother had. And it used to be the central. You'd go running to it mm -hmm. to deal with those tips those rips and those tears, and if your robe happens to fly open, well, I'm you always sew sewing costumes in. at the last minute for the big school party. Right. Yes, so right. this is the big shebang. So it's completely outfitted. Now we're going to take that, break it down, and make it really approachable mm -hmm. for everybody at home. Okay. okay. So the really basic tools to get sewing done is definitely a needle. You got the buttons. You got I some can't even thread. See the needle, and glasses. actually, this is no. a needle threader. We have That's one for kind of every amazing. single one of you. Mm -hmm. It's always in a sewing kit. I never really knew what it was. I didn't either. You put it through the eye of the needle then you get your thread right and you actually go through the wire and then you pull it through and it automatically threads it for you did you get yours to work by the way uh, I can't not, see either I, of these I was gonna things. say is there a thread and I can't see the thread <laughs> what thread what needle and you speak of nothing so there we go glasses. we got it yes and it just makes it so much easier than you tie a little knot and you're ready to get sewing okay but don't so be discouraged a lot of people might stop at just threading the needle but don't, <laughs> don't be discouraged yeah. keep at it and the needle threader is like mm -hmm. life-saving then we have the essential tools safety pins this is a seam ripper so mm -hmm. when you we're all perfectionists. When you make a crooked seam, you can no, just rip yeah. it right out. Yeah, also, you, you can that. take tags out of your clothing if you're a little sensitive so, to tags. A lot of people so are. So you sit there and oh, you that's, just... That's yeah. good because they'll scratch super, you. It's super, super sharp. By the way, be careful with young children and doing all of these things. Mm -hmm. Super sharp sewing scissors. They're mm -hmm. great for cloth and thread, and they cut with greater accuracy. And, of course, measuring tapes. Now, safety pins is an absolute must. There's so many more things than you can do than you can imagine. So I have this dress. I am short-waisted. And in order to make the straps fit me, Are you, you do a short-waisted? I am short-waisted. Oh God, I'm long-waisted. We oh, together we're make the, uh, we're the one normal person. person. Exactly. Okay. And kind so you can fold the strap and then pin it. Make sure the pins are always mm -hmm. hidden. Pins are not to be seen. Mm. I'm actually I have a triple dart in the back. So I had too much fabric. Can you see? Oh, yes. So you did. I have three. These are actually and, inverted pleats. And you just pinned it. I pinned it. I've got six safety pins back there. Amazing. Yep. Okay. So, and you can actually do this with, the, you know, your pants and adjust that. Mm -hmm. Also, measuring tapes. This is the number one thing that I use in my kit for women. The most common measurements are the bust, the natural waist, which is, by the way, where your hands naturally go right here, and the widest portion of the hips. Mm -hmm. For dudes, it's the collar, right, for your for your shirt dresses. Also, the sleeve measure, measurement, which is from the tip of the collar down on a straight arm to just past your wrist bone here. And then the inseam of the pant, which is right there into the inner part of the leg, all the way down, just past the ankle. Please pass my slippers. <laughs> oh, yes, you should always be wearing your dress shoes for tailoring dress pants. So I, this measuring tape, we're all buying things online now in order to get things to fit more you know, better when you're at home. Mm -hmm. Definitely use the measuring tape quite, quite okay, often. Good. Next, if you have a button that pops, you know sometimes you get a thread in a button, you pull it out and the whole thing just pops yeah. off? Yes, every button on everything. Yeah. Yes, so mm -hmm. this is a really quick fix. You take your grocery twisty ties, you strip it of the green using a little water mm -hmm. and your nail, and you're actually gonna use this to secure your button by run, I, I fixed this one, look. Ta -da. What? Are so you kidding me? I ran it through the button, gave nice. it a little twist. I cut this down just a touch. And huh. look at that. That Look at how perfect. small that button is. Right. You can't so even tell. Yeah, it's a tiny button. Even pinch. Even tell. And mm -hmm. for other buttons, not the ones that you sew, of course, to perfection, you're going to use some nail polish to actually secure the threads and just give it a little dab there. If it seems like it's a little loosey-goosey, right? Mm -hmm. You just put a little dab on the button. Make sure it's on the top of the button and the thread that go it doesn't go some down. Buttons. That's great. Yep. Right? There you go. All right, listen, for more information on all of these tips, you can go to kellyandryan.com. We will be right back.